Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett, HardOCP.com, and today what we have is the ROG Strix X470i Gaming. And I know a lot of people have been looking at a uh, Ryzen-based uh, ITX motherboard, and this is one of the first ones that we've seen here in-house. And it's actually got some really interesting features on it, so we want to do a quick unboxing and show those off to you. Alright, so getting this out of the box. Nice presentation. Nicely packed, easy out as you would expect. Accessories down here in the bottom. Tons of stuff down there. We'll go back into that more in the review. So here's the board itself. First of all, obviously this is ITX format. It's tiny, diminutive. Give you a better overall look there. So let's uh, let's look around and see uh, see what's packed on here. And let's start back with uh, the I/O panel, HDMI uh, two point port. Uh, we have um, four USB three point ones. We got two USB uh, 3.1 Gen 2s. We do have an Intel NIC. We've got a Wi-Fi 802.11. I think this one's ABG in and AC as well. Um, coming over here, this is where this gets uh, gets kind of exciting. Uh, this board I know also has a Bluetooth uh, 4.2 on it as well. So this is where this board gets really, really different. Let me bring you in closer here. First back here on the back with our uh, audio solution, we've got illuminated jacks. These are not color coded, so you'll be able to see these easily. I really, really like that. So what this is noted as is, let me see, make sure. This is the game ROG Strix Speed. You know what, I really don't know what all the hell it says on there. But let me show you exactly what this is. So once we remove our screws at either end here, we can lift this up. Comes unplugged. And what you see here is a heat sink for an M.2 drive. So down on the actual audio card that's on here, we actually have a mounting place for our M.2 drive. And so all this also, let me show you. So this entire thing encapsulates all of our audio card circuitry on here. And uh, obviously would probably keep it very well isolated. So I'm really excited about sound on this. But that's a really, really cool feature and a way to get a, to get a lot of circuitry down on such a small board. Also moving around to this side, um, We've seen these shielded uh, or armored strengthen, however you want to put it, uh, PCIe slots. Obviously, this is PCIe 3.0 um, by 16. ASUS is calling this their safe slot. And what they say is the PCI slot reinvented. And so basically what they're doing here, so in, <clears throat> excuse me. So in the past, we've seen these PCIe slots have the shielding put around them. So they've kind of stepped this up in and that you can kind of see this here that this actual PCI slot has been remolded and when they are molding these they're actually putting this armor down in the mold with them so it's actually molded together in one piece to give it more strength and there are also additional solder points on these that are not electrically conductive like the ones that have been in the past well they, they might act as a ground I'm not sure but they're not a uh, they're not there for um, they're not there for data transfer. So they've actually truly beefed up these slots tremendously. So moving back around to this side of the board, we've got a nice beefy heat sink on here. It is down on there well. It is not, so it should be screwed in. Let's look at the back. So yeah, we can see right here our screw points for that heat sink, which is nice. We've got six plus two power supply, fan header, fan header, fan header. We've got um, an addressable three pin for Aura sync, 
which is uh, all your frag hard or uh, frag hard or disco like goodness. Of course, we've got two RAM slots. <clears throat> I know uh, the they are saying that this also supports uh, 36 uh, megahertz OC on this as well. Um, one, two, three, four on our SATA, as you would expect. So all this is, is actually really pretty exciting. Um, the way the, uh, like I said, the way they've done the, uh, the M.2 circuitry and the audio circuitry on its own card on here is very, very interesting. So anyway, we're getting this on the board today or getting this on the test bench today. And I wanted to give you guys a quick look at it and show it all to you. So this has been a quick look at the ROG Strix X470i Gaming motherboard for Ryzen CPUs using the X470 chipset. We'll begin testing soon. This is Kyle Bennett with Hardo CP.